You know, I really, really feel bad for young people today. You know, I, I really feel bad that y'all existence, y'all world is so out of control that, uh, you know, it's like you can't even go out and have a good time. Uh, and especially in these gay bars, you, you, you go to a bar, period, you can just assume pretty much nine out of ten times that it's going to be some drama. Especially... Unfortunately, if it's a club where a lot of black people gather, you know, for some reason we we go out of our way to fight. A lot of people get dressed to go out to fight. Um, man, I'm gonna fight tonight. Come on, when we go out. We gonna do this tonight. I mean, it is. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in other groups and other cultures, but I'm just saying what happens in mine, okay? And I know they do it. Uh, and it's sad because this story right here that happened in Chicago, um, I mean, I, I didn't really hear a lot of uh, talk about it on the national news, but there's a hit and run crash that killed three people. The injured one uh, sparked by an argument at a famous Southside bar, uh, a gay bar in Chicago. Okay, and the sad part about it is they knocked these young men so high up in the sky that they look like some airplanes. I, I mean, really, it looked like birds, big birds flying across the uh, sky. And the baffling thing for police officers right now is they don't know if this was racially motivated. Because, of course, it was dark time. It was after the clubs. Uh, and they were out in the streets fighting. And that's what I mean by I feel bad because... It's like wherever young people gather now, it's just fights. And I saw another YouTuber create content where he was showing how he went to the white bars and they were pretty civilized. And I, I, I really hate to say this. They didn't have anything he felt like, why am I having such a good time? Okay? Because they weren't a bunch, they weren't racist. And so when you find white people that's not racist and you hanging out with them, of course, it's, you can have a good time. And then he showed the black club. And they were all running out in the street, running each other over with cars. All this is fighting. I guess after the bars, the big thing is after the bar get ready to close, everybody is outside fighting, about to fight, or that's where the fighting and things like that take place. So it's really a sad, a sad freaking commentary. If you somebody that want to open up a club or have a club, I mean you, your 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 target audience is so freaking crazy that. You know, how can you get insurance? Who wants to be around people like that? That every time you go out and have a good time, it's got to be some craziness, madness, killing, all these things in the name of having fun. All these things. In the name of having
But um, it was a horrific hit and run crash that flung three men into the air and killed them. Um, and it was sparked by an argument at a Chicago gay bar. But cops say it's too early to call it a hate crime. Okay, so they're, they're reluctant to call it a hate crime right now. So, these, these are very, very young men. And that's the sad part about it. I mean, college grad. When the, a driver smashed into them at 5 a.m. outside a famous gay bar on the south side of Chicago. The three men have been named as Donald, named as Donald Huey, 25, Jalen Osley, 23, and Devonta Vivetta, 27. They were a part of a group of men standing in the road, seemingly arguing when a car drove fast into them, flinging them at least 30 feet into the air. Then the driver sped off and abandoned the car, which was found later. Chicago police are still searching for the driver. I mean, now, that, like I said, they don't know if it was somebody from the club that did it or if it was just a motivated a hate crime. Because the the bar is quite famous. Um, I just think this is a tragedy for such men so young. A fourth man was left injured in the crash. What happens um, as a large group was standing in the road, seemingly arguing. Brendan Deenan, chief of detectives, said on Monday that the crash is not thought to be an accident. But it wasn't yet concluded that it was related to their race or sexuality. But it does appear to be intentional. We don't have any evidence to support that somebody was trying to harm these individuals based on their race, religion, etc. Um, that can change, though, once we get more witnesses and suspects in. Oh, boy, this is so unfortunate. Such young men. That's why I say you, you go to these clubs now. You, you, you saw, it's almost like y'all don't know how to have a good time unless y'all fight. Unless y'all done found a reason to fight. Some of y'all go to the clubs again to fight. I'm going to fight. Yeah, put on your best clothes to go out there and fight. It's like, and I know it's like, uh, my man Devontae Swain said, because they missing love. Some these y'all, th there is no way in the world you can be full of love and want to fight and be as angry as our young people are. I mean, I, I'm speaking to us. I mean, one of these guys, Austin, he had just graduated from the University of Michigan. And he returned to the South Side just to do social work. This is the best of us. This is the best of us. He just graduated uh, from the University of Michigan. I mean, I, I, I just don't understand why, as a group, why we are so angry. Yeah, I do know why we're so angry. Let me let me stop that right now. I know why we're so angry. The thing is, what is our anger getting us? Nothing but a bunch of shit harm to ourselves? Dinahan said the car was recovered about four blocks from the scene, but the driver remains on the run. You can't charge a car with a crime, obviously, he said, appealing for the public's help. We need to know who this driver was. There were a lot of people out there, a lot of people that were inside of that bar prior to this occurring. And we definitely believe that the individuals who actually want to give us that information and they want to name a suspect. Tributes have been paid to all three men killed in a horrific smash, which was caught on surveillance cameras. 
Osley had just graduated again from the University of Michigan and returned to the South Side to work with disadvantaged young people at the Gary Comer Youth Center, which provides tutoring, job training, career planning, and other programs. Many of the kids Jalen worked with have reached out to express their gratitude and appreciation for Jalen's willingness to be a positive mentor in their lives said Project Love of Chicago, which was involved in jobs programs in the state. I mean, you, and don't get me wrong, and this is not to be disparaging him or not, but you out here and you got young, leading young people, but you out here in the weekend fighting in the middle of the goddamn streets? What is going on? That's that's a, a, a dual, a real dual-sided uh, situation right there. What the? F we thank you all for your kind words to remind us of the impact he made in such a short time. Jalen was a light in any room, and his infectious energy will be missed. He was an outstanding young man that had so much ambition, character, humility, love, and compassion for his community. He was making great strides as a leader in his community. He has so much ahead of him and planned to do so much for in the future. Not out there fighting like that. See, this is Sharna Riley, the sister of Donald Huey, said that he recently announced plans to move back to the Chicago area for a job at a casino. Huey was living in the Los and living in Los Angeles and working for um, at the front desk of a luxury condominium building. She told the Chicago Sometimes that he loved designing clothes and styling people. He tell me that this doesn't look right or that doesn't stand out enough. He would get on me, and that's what I remember most about him. Uh, by Vita's cousin Anita, told ABC Seven that the family was devastated. We've been crying all day. It's just I can't believe it. He didn't deserve it, and you keep and for you to keep going like this is ridiculous. The bar released a statement mourning the victims. Our hearts are heavy this morning at such a tragic event that has occurred, um, said the managers of Jeffrey's Pub in a statement. And to those who lost a loved one or a friend, we stand with you. We encourage everyone to leave and go to your vehicles right away to make it home safe. Dash cam footage caught the scene with a group standing in a row before seemingly throwing punches and brawling. The silver or white sedan can be heard come before it even makes it uh, to the scene. The silver or white sedan can be heard coming before it is seen. Its engines was revved up as it smashed into the group of people. It is believed that the sedan drove at a speed, high, high speed into this group. One young man in a blue shirt was flung to the right of the vehicle, and it is believed to he have survived the initial impact. And the driver sped off, leaving four people dead in the road. My God. The other three were hurled into the air and thrown at speeds dozens of feet. They were pronounced dead. The survivor was taken to Stronger Hospital where his condition is unknown. Police believe they have a fifth person that may have been struck and that he or she was taken to a private hospital in a private vehicle. Very, very sad. Very sad. And if the person that ran them over was a white person, you know, and if it is racially motivated, um, that has become another target area. One thing, if you're going to continue to go out, y'all got to stop. You got to curb some of this crazy behavior. You can't be out there fighting. Have your focus on something else. And somebody run down the street and ram you all down. 
You can't have that. You can't have that at all. But this is really sad for these young people in my heart go out to their family members. Wow. Anyway, for anybody out there in the Chicago area, uh, give me an update about this situation because this is really sad. And this is what I mean by young people not having the ability to go out nowhere no more. You, you just, you just, it's just, it's just all bad. Y'all gonna have to learn how to have some um, uh, house parties again and have everybody checked at the door if you want to uh, do anything. You see, y'all ain't nothing without no guns and weapons. So hopefully, if you start a new trend, it'll start a, a trend of less people getting hurt. And that's just my opinion. My heart go out to these families. Anybody got any more information, drop it in the line. Let me know what's going on. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel. Please share the channel, and I'm going to see you in the next video.